magazine and I've worked for an insurance company. Una compañía de seguros? Yes, it was a good job, but it wasn't very exciting. In today's program, Jean's sister Rosie is visiting Walter and Jean. She's not very happy with her job, so Walter and Jean give her some advice. And they're talking about a job advertisement. Un anuncio para un puesto de trabajo. Here's a question. What is the job in the newspaper advertisement? ¿Qué trabajo se anuncia? How is everything at home, Rosie? How are the kids? They're fine. They're back at school now. And how are you? I'm fine, but I'm bored with my job. What job are you doing? I'm still working for the same small insurance company. What do you do there? I'm the office manager, but most of the time I do the typing, I make the tea, I answer the phone, I do the photocopying and the filing, I buy the stamps and post the letters. Is the pay good? No. And last year, I asked the boss for a pay rise. He offered me 1%. The boss doesn't like me. Why not? He thinks I'm too clever. Too clever? Yes. I'm the only person in the office with a degree. What are the other staff like? They're all men. All they talk about is money and football. How long have you been at this office? I've been there for two years. Every day is the same. Well, I think it's time to find another job. But what can I do? I studied ancient history at university, and history isn't very useful when you're looking for a job. Why didn't I do engineering? or media studies. You could go to college and learn to be a teacher or... No. I can't afford to go back to college. There's an advertisement in the newspaper for a personal assistant for the editor of Glam, the fashion magazine. I don't know anything about the fashion industry. It says experience in the fashion industry is not important. Really? They want an intelligent person. It says a university degree is essential. They want a well-organized and very efficient person to assist in the editor's office. Hundreds of people try for those jobs in the fashion industry. Yes, but you must apply. Can you use a word processor? Yes, I can. Do you have a clean driving license? Yes, I do. Are you good with people? I don't know. Am I? Yes, you are good with people. But you must be more confident, Rosie. You must believe in yourself. Now, what about the answer to our question? What is the job in the newspaper advertisement? There's an advertisement in the newspaper for a personal assistant for the editor of Glam, the fashion magazine. ¿Te has fijado? Walter ha dicho personal assistant, ayudante de dirección, pero en el anuncio aparece abreviado como PA. Let's think about the other jobs that you know. Can you remember? What's Rosie's job now? I'm still working for the same small insurance company. What do you do there? I'm the office manager. She's the office manager. La encargada de la oficina. Venga, hagamos una lista de empleos. What are their jobs? They're fashion models. What's my job. You're a presenter. 
Y por supuesto, podemos añadir a la lista de empleos los que se mencionan en el anuncio. Personal Assistant and Editor. Editor o editora. Es muy útil confeccionar listas de palabras que están relacionadas entre sí. It helps you to remember new words. Really, it's one of my favorite ways of learning new vocabulary. Otro campo en el que resulta útil hacer listas de palabras que guardan relación es, por ejemplo, el de los requisitos o las cualidades necesarias para ciertos empleos. What are the job qualities in this advertisement? The person must be intelligent, inteligente, well organized. Bien organizado u organizada. And efficient. Eficaz. So, the person must be intelligent, well organized and efficient. Vanessa, ¿se te ocurre alguna otra cualidad necesaria para un puesto de trabajo? Well, it's good to be flexible. Flexible. Yes. And you must be loyal. Leal. For some jobs, it's important to be ambitious, ambicioso, ambiciosa, and dynamic, dinámico, dinámica. And perhaps for a job as a personal assistant to the editor of a fashion magazine, you need to be fashionable, ir a la moda, and glamorous, y ser atractivo, atractiva.